Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and I've got a bit of an unboxing to do <laughs> This is massive Honestly folks, this is a big box Let's put some perspective on this It's 96 centimetres which is 38 inches long It is 57 centimetres tall which is 22 and a half inches and it is 30, 35 and a half centimetres wide which is 14 inches and that arrived on my doorstep by DHL this morning. <laughs> Holy cow! Let's get it open and see what's inside. <laughs> I've popped this open. <laughs> I can't believe what I found inside it. In order to keep the item protected, it was in its own box. But it also had this stuff. Now these are called air pockets. And what I've done, I've put, punctured these air pockets so I can throw them away. That's a piece of seven air pockets. Okay. And then I've got this. Let me show you this. That was inside that box. And this was taken up at least half the space inside that box. I don't know whether they did it as a joke or what, but my goodness, I had a shock when I saw that on the drive. Anyway, let's get this box out of the way and bring in the item that I purchased. There it is, it's an FMS Kingfisher, 1.4 metre wingspan. And this one comes with skis, floats, and oversized wheels. Ooh! I got it for a hundred UK pounds instead of two hundred and fifty UK pounds. There is a little crush here on the box where it's been crushed, and the box is a little tatty. It's got a seam down here where it's been crushed. What can I tell you about this one? Nothing that you can't already see. It does come with the three sets of landing gear. It has these oversized Tundra wheels. They're not the best wheels in the world, they're very hard, but it will operate from anywhere basically. So I can use the skis in the winter, I could use the floats in the winter, I can take off from my grass field, anywhere I like. And of course skis are for snow and ice landings. So let's just see what other information we've got on the outside. Take a look at the specs. We'll get them on the screen and just hold them there for a minute. I think there's a typo because uh, as you go down the specs, you'll see it says that it's got nine gram servos time four. Well, it hasn't. It's got six because it's got flaps. 11 by seven props. It's quite a big prop. Right, so there it is. Um, the box has got a few scuff marks and dents on it. But I got it from this CML distribution centre. And what they do, they go through what they call end of line stock. And they clear out any old stock they've got that's been lying around. And this is one of those. Now the last aircraft I purchased from them was the FMS J3 Cub. And that had all of the bolts and nuts required to join it together missing. But I managed to buy those for about eight pounds, I think it cost. This, I've been told, has nothing missing. So we might ask ourselves, why did it cost 150 pounds cheaper than the cheapest on the market? Well, first of all, let's get it out of the box. Okay, so they say it has been out of the box. It's been repacked. So I'm going to take it out and we'll just take a look at things. 
There it is, the Kingfisher by FMS. Where to start? Let's start where I always start, and that's with the documentation. This comes with a reflex system, which is basically a stabiliser. Now, you don't really need it if you're an intermediate or advanced pilot, but it's good to know it's there. And in fact, you can always turn it off. You put it on a two-way switch. So this is either off or stabilised. It's a branded product by FMS. They don't all come with it. You can buy it without it. This one happens to come with it. Yeah. FMS manual. Cannot go wrong with an FMS manual. Parts listing, specifications, which we've already looked at. It still says here it's got four 9 gram servos. Drawings of how to put everything together. Not a single screwdriver or a single screw is shown except for the floats and the undercarriage. But the main airframe is put together just by clipping things into place. So it's a uh, six channel, I need on it. Okay, they've got high and low rates here. And as you all know, those who watch my videos, I'll set the high rate, set the low rate, then I'll go somewhere in between. Having said that, elevator 12 millimeters. Low rate is 10. The only in between there I've got is 11. <laughs> There's a bit more on the uh, aileron. That's 14 high, 10 low. So I could go to 12. And then the rudder 16 high, low 12. Yeah, I can go in something like 13, 14 maybe. Uh, I just do that just so I've got an option. Three options. How to connect all your horns where the centre of gravity is yeah it's all there, it's all a classic FMS manual and at the back you've got all your speed controller instructions and how to set your brake, how to take your brake off how to have a slow start or a hard start hard stop, all that sort of stuff, it's all in the manual a lot of people don't read them, I actually read them, I quite like reading the manual Let's start by looking at the floats because I have got floats coming out of my ears now. So there's a float and it's got an R, so it goes on the right hand side. It's got a little dent here. But so what? This is a splash guard. The struts are exactly the same. The struts joining the floats together are exactly the same. And this is the rudder. It's basically got a water rudder and it is goes all the way up to a little hook here. So that's your water rudder. I will not be using that. These babies. Look at those. Whoa, it's my hand. These are five inch wheels. Now they're foam, but they're very hard foam. Very hard. So there'll be no giving those when you land. So you've got to make sure you come in nice and slow and shallow. Oh, but you can take off anywhere, as they say. They're not polystyrene. They're not EPO. They are a sponge type foam, but they are extremely hard and dense. I might look at replacing them, but that will be at a later date. But there's your undercarriage, super big wheels. And then we've got skis, which I'm really looking forward to using. So these skis are a little bit of a pain to put on. The reason for that is you have to take the wheel off, so you just undo that nylock self-locking nut. The whole lot comes off the axle, but the axle is a threaded axle, and it actually has another nylock holding it onto the aluminium. That all has to come off. Then you use these shorter axles, which are all threaded, to push through here. Then you slide on your ski and set it up and then put the nylock back on to lock it in place.
But yeah, I've got some skis. Yeah, they're white. I wouldn't. I'd rather have coloured ones. So I might spray them up. So I'm uh, looking forward to trying those out. And here we have a prop, FMS prop, 11 by 7. And it's got the hex coupler, so it actually slots into a uh, hex part of the spinner that locks it in place. Here are your wing struts, plastic wing struts, and they're actually held on by R clips. So they actually push through holes. In this case, you put an R clip through, and in these ones, you push them over a peg and put an R clip through. And that's very quickly done. Goodie bag. What have we got in the goodie bag? Well, we've got the tail wheel, we have a spinner, we have a back plate, front plate, and then the nose cone. We have lots of R clips in here. There's a few screws, a couple of push rods with clevises on the end here then we've got this plate which covers the undercarriage up or the floats depending on what you're using and that's all there there should be two Y leads yep one's for the flat one's for the ailerons that's all good and let's look at this thing here now this thing is a camera caddy apparently it's got a ply board here where apparently you can put your camera and strap it in place now I think my run cam will fit in there, put a run cam in there, strap it in and it just replaces the front of the plane. It's meant for FPV of course. So let's look at one of the wings. So here's a nice wing, very nice wing actually. So this is, yeah this is a combination of paint and decals so the blue here at the top is paint the orange is paint but this light blue here is in fact a decal as is the Kingfisher logo uh, very well molded it's FMS for goodness sake it's beautiful you can see a little bit of ribbing in there that they've put you have ailerons and flaps, so if we go to the underside you can see we have the horns, clevis, servo, digital servos, 9 gram digital servos and this is quite a nice little touch, they've got a cut out here that you can put your screwdriver in if you need to adjust the servo horn these are the little pegs where the wing struts Go over just like that and then you just put an R clip to hold it in place. Yeah it's got a spar running right the way down it and it's also got a tube, fiberglass tube for the second spar so it's going to have two spars in here and it's very rigid, very rigid. Like these little upturns of the wing I'll probably end up putting my uh, easy lights on the end there, putting a bit of velcro and sticking easy lights on. The wiring's exposed, but I'm not too fussed about that. I've got white tape now, so I can just lay white tape over that. Uh, yeah, and this is how it joins into the fuselage. Fuselage has a plastic receiving part for this piece. The wing slots into that and as it goes in it's got this sprung loaded clip and it clips into place. Now apparently they go on really easy but they come off really hard because it's quite hard to push this in enough to pull the wing off. But once it's on it's on and it's only a 1.4 meter it'll fit into the car. But lovely colouring. What I might do I might take this off on the underside totally and just put my black stripe in or I might leave it and just put some black striping more inboard. Haven't decided yet. Here's the other wing. Same thing. Blue paint, orange paint, light blue is decal. Kingfisher is a decal. 
the foam hinges on everything but they are all laminated you can actually see the lamination it's a shiny material servos already in place again double spars exactly the same as the other wing nothing wrong with any of that there is a slight mark here and there are just two little dents sort of there I don't know if you can see them on the camera there and there but it's just hanger rash yeah then we have this piece which is the one piece horizontal stabiliser um, yeah and this is paint this is decal this is the big decal so they've sort of mixed and matched the FMS logo on the tail which is quite nice and this tail basically clips in it's got a clip here and it runs through a system in the tail of the plane and it just clips into place and locks it in place with some pegs single servo for the elevator but it's got a massive joining plastic spar across the two of them and it's laminated it's all laminated it's got a white fiberglass spar going through the center of this real nice quality tiny little molding holes and they're all on the underneath so now we come to the biggest part it's got a gouge in it at the front it's been indented here slightly but it's been gouged out here this is the worst possible part for that to happen on because this part is connected to the whole fuselage the front piece here two screws and it will pull away this piece here comes off so if it was on this I could have replaced it if it was on this I could have replaced it but it isn't it's on this piece and therefore I need a complete new fuselage that's why I got it for the price I got it but I've already decided I will be filling this with micro balloons and epoxy one piece at one layer at a time until it's leveled then I will be spray painting this whole top part black so this will be black and the rest will be exactly as it is and I think that will be perfectly acceptable so that's the damage let's look at the rest of it everything else is absolutely fine got the big plastic mountings here got an air intake straight onto the speed controller We've got the wheel mounting and these other two combined to make for the floats. The front one are the wheels and the skis. And here is where those wing spars or whatever you call them, wing struts, connect. Just push them down through that hole and put an R pin on it. FMS logo sticker on the bottom. Big air vent at the back to let the air out. In fact, that's big enough. I think I might be able to put lights on this one. FMS logos on the side. These are all stickers on the fuselage. Rudder. Laminated. Everything that screws in here. So, so when you put the plate on here to hold the tail wheel or the water rudder in, it screws into brass. Servo set up, the horn goes on this side, you just link them up. On this side you have your elevator. And again it just clips into here, there's a plastic piece here to receive it and there's a plastic piece here, there is no glue in. Quite a nice chunky fuselage. This is for your toe connection you can put in a glider toe or you can actually put in a banner toe let's take a look inside the canopy comes off so the canopy comes off 
And if I'm using a camera, I can put this one in its place. And my GoPro or my run cam will be sitting in there. I'm not sure if I'll use it. But... So what have we got inside here? Well, an XT60 connection. Excellent. FMS strap and a Velcro. I'll replace that with anti-shelf slip stuff material <clears throat> and here's the reflex the gyro and above that is this is a little shelf here in there and that's where you can mount your receivers these are the wing joints so these plastic parts this is the piece that the wing slides over and clips onto. It's got some little markers in here where the plastic grommets on the wing join in. This is a slot for you to run your cables. So you run your cables through there and they come out where this shelf is at the top there. Yeah, a very nice looking aeroplane actually. So there it is, the FMS Kingfisher 1.4 meter wingspan with reflex gyro. What a steal. What a steal. So that blue piece at the front here, this is going to be patched up. The whole blue piece will be sprayed black. So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on another video. Cheers.